I often consider myself a, a gardener, probably before a garden designer. Uh, I have a, a great love of plants and a love of nature, which is really where it all, all started, I suppose. I don't do minimalist gardens. I do modern gardens, but not minimalist. And so the, the hard structure and the planting are, are very much in equilibrium. When I first got into this profession, I didn't really know anything about garden history or anything like that. And uh, I really took most of my inspiration from outside this genre. There's design all around us now. And you, if you keep your eyes open, there's, there's inspiration everywhere. But when it comes down to it, I get most of my inspiration probably from nature. I kind of fell into landscaping, that's probably the, the best way to describe it, because I didn't know what to do when I left school. And I got a job working as a landscape gardener, working with my brothers. And I loved it, because I loved the fact that you're creating something, and you're outside doing physical work, and you can stand back and look at what you've done at the end of the day. When I first go and see a client, I I really feed off them. I feed off them, the site. I look at what the inside of the house is like, what car they drive. I talk to them a lot. And I really get a lot of inspiration from that first visit. And quite often what I'll do is I'll leave the client, I'll go and drive around the corner and I'll furiously do some sketching. And that will often form the basis for the design. I quite like to surprise a client and present them with something which is totally unexpected for them and of course it's all about the combinations and the bigger pictures and things and so I'll try and weave in things that they don't necessarily want but I've got pretty good over the years at uh, finding out very early on if we're not going to get on. The best thing about my job is that it's totally diverse. I can be on a plane flying to Singapore or I can be designing a garden in the depths of the Russian cold winter. It's just so varied and that, that's really the greatest thing about it. The aim of the work is to improve on nature often, which sounds a bit egotistical I think, because how, how can you improve on nature? But it's a question of taking something that's pretty good to start with and maybe embellishing it a bit, just trying to improve it and tweak it.